uh, I'm I'm Leopold Kane, the uh, elf rogue. I'm Ren. Uh, <laughs> I'm Ren. I'm Orange Autumn on Twitch. Um, I was. I almost died by uh, death eating rats. I'm Gimli Grim, fighter dwarf. Make my day. I'm um, uh, Crash UK playing free the uh, tiefling warlock with a slight personality trait. I am Peter, the human warlord. Okay, and uh, I'll do uh, the narrative from last week. Uh, after the party fought and defeated some goblins and some mini lizard creatures, uh, they decided to go into a cave. The party kind of split up. Grim and myself went ahead and was ambushed by the hellspawn of Bill Cosby, which was yellow pudding creature, while the rest of the party was uh, attacked by a horde of rats. During the battle, Peter unlocked the uh, pristine title Rat Slayer, and also I believe received 10 gamer points. And heard that sound that the Xbox does whenever you get gamer points. Uh, then the rest of the party caught up with myself and Graham to defeat the yellow pudding monster that split into two sometime during our battle. And after that fight, the party was pretty beaten up, so they went outside the keep and took a rest. Uh, during the intermission, uh, Twitch and ourselves found out that Dave likes dragon dildos for some reason. I don't know where that came from. Wow. And then after the rest Shot of the party smart. went back like into it. the is cave. That right, Dave? Yeah, that's correct, right, Dave? That is that's a negative ghost right <laughs> on that accident. That, that's a huge Oh wait a minute, no, it was dildo writer. dragons. That's what the name was. That's my it. Bad. Yeah. yeah, oh my bad. No. Well, see, that was not I'll, I'll clear this up for the record. Dildo Dragons was my favorite Twitch name. The you know the, the I, I still love the name, and, and you know it's somebody else's. You know, uh, uh, it's uh, Dildo Dragons is name, the Twitch name, great name, funny name. But a couple weeks ago, some viewer named Thacko underscore Bell, Thacko Bell, follow. So now I I'm like totally on the Thacko Bell bandwagon because I just like Thacko Bell. I like the Thacko Bell name much 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 more. <laughs> plus, plus it's not as dirty, so. True, true. Uh, anyway, so after the rest and finding out that dirty secret about Dave, um, we <laughs> went back into the caves. We found a pit trap with a dead goblin and some bug creature in it. Uh, the party went deeper into the cave, found another pit trap that was a little bit larger than the first one. Gim did a running jump across it, which was amazing. Then my character did a somersault across the party. Uh, part of the uh, when I did a somersault across the uh, pit, while the rest of the party used common sense and climbed down into the pit <laughs> and then climbed back up out of the pit. <laughs> yeah, they uh, did. Then nice. the common party, sense. while they were looking at some treasure, three bug creatures attacked the party. Uh, but the bug creatures didn't get a jump on the party, and I think the party more or less kicked the crud out of them. Uh, then after that, the party kept on searching uh, the cave some more, and then found a door that said, Don't Dead Open Inside. <sighs> Walking Dead reference, sorry. Uh, but more or less warned us not to go inside, and the first thing out of Gim's mouth was, Hey Leopold, open this door. I think I'm still about right. And then, next thing we knew, we went in there, we saw a bunch of water, a little small island, with uh, some treasure on it. Then the party worked on a way to get onto the little island without touching the water, and that's when the second hell spawn of Bill Cosby, Blue Pudding Monster, attacked us and I think kicked the crap out of us. Is that about right? Yeah. It, Negative, it, Bill Strider. You guys Negative. ultimately killed it, but yes, it, it did quite a bit of damage, and that's where we left off. We literally had to spend everything on that thing. <laughs> Great recap, by the way. Well, yeah, that was... Yeah, uh, no you guys got uh, lots of XP last week. You guys are, I think, about 400 EXP away. But, Leopold, seeing that you're here, I want you to go ahead and add some stuff to your character sheet. So, Leopold, you, yes, can, you can add 298 gold, because that was your share of the uh, of the treasure. 
so you get the you get the you, you get to put 298 gold on your sheet you get to put 50 gold and gems on your sheet and uh, uh, table topper played your character for you last week you did a great job and oh, yeah. uh, thank what, you if he's in a uh, chat dark blue one thank you for the follow also he got you a another an extra water skin so you can put a water skin and your healing surges are down by two which should reflect on your token which it does so there we go so you guys this is where you guys are at just as we were as we were finishing last week after our marathon that we had done which was fun as hell you guys found several items you guys found uh, these two handouts uh, one was remember don't wet the nodule unless Calorel is not receptive to the offer then wet it only from a distance and then turn and run water will bring the creature out of its dormancy and it will consume anything it can reach uh, then you also found which was something strange uh, which was in you know also in the the, the scroll case which was greetings Calorel which Calorel is the uh, person that you guys found out that is trying to open up this Orcus, you know, this Orcus portal. So, greetings, Calero. I have recently learned of your activity in the area and have an offer for you. During your time in my region, wow, that guy's pretty, pretty insane, isn't it? During your time in my region, if you should capture any humanoids, we are eager to buy them. We have Duergar allies in Thunderspire in need of slave stock. If you are interested, send a message back to me. Chief Crand Blood Reaver. So, Chief Crand Blood Reaver uh, is sending notes to Calaral. And the last thing that you had found, which we had, did not have time to do, is we found this map also, which is a uh, still of the of the Nenter Vale, which is the most western, basically the western side, almost as, until you get to the you know the peaks and the mountains. Uh, but you can see where there, this map actually had uh, key areas like the Cobalt Lair and uh, the the burial site, uh, and then it has Winterhaven and then the Keep. So you guys have this map also, and I will leave that open down below for you. So you guys found a couple magic items also. You found the Shield of Protection, and you also found, I believe, yeah, it was just the Shield of Protection, I'm sorry. So uh, the Symbol of Battle, I believe, Ren, you took the Symbol of Battle. So don't forget if you, now don't forget, if you make a crit with that Symbol of Battle, don't forget to add that extra damage in. It will do uh, an extra D8 or whatever it is. So gotcha. Pretty nice. Pretty nice item. And that was from two weeks ago. And then the Shield of Protection, I think, uh, Gim, you have that on your sheet. Uh, I, put I got that, it quick. Yep, I, I put it in the arm slot for you just so, because uh, you can't have two arm slots at one time. So it's either you're going to have bracers or you're going to have the shield. So you have the shield, which is cool. Uh, so the shield does act, like I said, it is still plus two, uh, but it does have a daily power attached to it. And, you know, you and an ally adjacent regain, uh, gains resist of 10. Pretty nice uh, daily power for the shield. So if you guys are taking a lot of damage, you can, you know, unfortunately it costs a standard action, which is a lot, but, I mean, it, it's still, you know, it's still a nice shield, whatever. You know, whatever you take of it, it's still a nice shield. So, all right. So this is where we're going to continue. You guys uh, have taken a... Uh, rest. I'm going to give you guys a milestone. So for the milestone, we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to reward everyone uh, back up to one action point and everyone gets uh, full surges, uh, full health, all of your powers back. So that is your reward. You guys basically did three encounters last week. So Thank you. Thank as you your me. milestone, as your reward, you guys can start at full everything this week. Sweet. So if you guys ever need to see these uh, these correspondences, just let me know, and I'll pop those up for you real quick. All right. So what do you guys want to do? You guys are here. You guys are still in the the stagnant uh, slime room. I am uh like the other slime we just we, we killed earlier. I'm going to uh, actually empty out one of my uh, bo bottles of uh, oil and. Uh, 
bottle up a little bit of the slime. Yeah, you can definitely see if, do that. Uh, for later use. You you can definitely get a you can definitely get a, a good amount. You can fill the vial up. You don't have any problems doing that. Um, so just looking over the, uh, as I speak out loud, just looking over these notes, I wonder what nodule was it that, and what was it, and if the messenger is, is dead. Did Keller not take the offer? Uh, for what? For selling slaves, or? For selling slaves, yep. Mm, I don't know. I think that's a positive because he uh, 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 activated the, the slime, so I think he did it. <laughs> that, that, that slime, that slime actually was really was really tough. And thank goodness that you know that uh, burst stopped recharging because the first couple rounds that thing recharged. But after that, you know, it didn't recharge anymore, and wow, that was uh, that was pretty insane. Do I realize that I had that burst? I stepped away from that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Burst of three is a that's it's a it's a lot. That's a that's a huge area, and in, in, in fourth edition it is. So have we uh, looked around at everything in this place? We got all the treasure, and then all that's left is water. I don't know if you want to drink that water, though. Leopold, while you were down there, did you see anything? Uh, no, I, I saw a blub, 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 blub. <laughs> and a light. I saw a light. I saw blub, 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 blub. I like it. I think I saw the Raven Queen. That was about it. That's, a, that's the closest oh, things I saw. Sure. Whoa. Ren would like that. She's She's big into the Raven Queen. If you if you have seen the Raven Queen, then she must be. Okay, Jefferson, sounds good, man. Definitely, we will so have that going. Let's not think of that. Now let's we should continue on our, and get I'll rid of the agree. cult that's invested in there. I believe we've uh, searched this entire cave, so we should uh, try a different path to keep. Say so there was a there was a um, eastern or eastern or western or whatever. There's a, there's a section of the wing of the keep we haven't looked at yet. Back a to the western entrance. path, I think, was it? We've gone east. Yeah, there's the the chamber to the west that you guys haven't been to yet. That was out of the you know the main chamber as you guys descended down uh, to where the Gimli fell into the trap. So yeah, you guys could definitely go west. Now it looks like these caves are pretty much uh, ignored by the. Goblin and stuff like that, but when we get back to the uh, the hallway, we probably need to be careful in case anyone's wandering around or something like that. Do we have a grid? No, not yes. not no. Okay. Now the only time, the only reason why I turned the grid on for the cave was just because of the the combat. So, but now that you guys are done with that, now nah, there's no need for it anymore. Gotcha. Coast looks clear as you get to the the exit of the cave, Pete. Seems to the east and to the west is is clear. Yeah, turn like back I, to yeah, like I had mentioned looks... last week, all of those corpses were basically the the corpses that were in the the eastern chamber were basically buried, buried in you know buried in. Okay. Earth, so. I'm gonna whisper back. Looks clear right now. <clears throat> so yeah, you guys are all back up to full hit points, full powers, all that good stuff. Definitely a reward worth well, giving. Well, they might them. be expecting us, so we should be careful. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah Dave, if it's cool, I'll start doing my uh, perception checks and all that, making sure, yeah. sure you know nobody's reset traps or I don't notice anything out of the ordinary for us or something out from coming from the ceiling. Yeah, sounds good. I'll, I'll base everything off of your uh, your passive perception. Nineteen. No, you're fine. I'll let you know. I'll base it off of your passive perception, which I, I believe is a 20 or 21 for passive perception, isn't it? Yeah, 20. Yep. I'm going to take a look back in this room, or if I sneak a peek in this room, make sure nothing else in there, nothing in there anymore, or nothing in there again. Okay. Yeah, you look past the, uh, the tapestry on the wall, nothing. Nothing's changed. Uh, like I said, uh, the corpses are gone, though. The goblins that you had killed when you first entered entered the keep on the Shadowfell, and okay. definitely gone. And I'll uh, I'll go back over with the group. Hey Gim, you want to jump over this pit? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look in and see. Are the rats still in there? <laughs> the rats? Uh, are the, there's the a barbecued rats? <laughs> yeah. Well. There's you can see that there's holes, and you know in the bottom of the the pit, and you can see that there's even though there was a, a lot of charred remnants down there, you can see a lot of the bones. Probably more rats have crawled out and ate the other dead rats, the barbecued rats. Do you want to look over in the corner and see what's if there's anything out over there? Hey guys, we uh, haven't explored this bit, so we should probably be more sneaky as we go from now on. Yeah, I'm all for rolling a stealth check starting now. Dark, sounds Same. Good. I'm gonna wait right here for our rogue to do his thing. Yeah, the the, the area is still the same. Your surroundings, about a about a 15 foot ceiling. You know, still the. Uh, the, the architecture, you know, not dwarven, but uh, still nicely put together. Still the, the nice sleek floors. A lot of dust everywhere. A lot of dirt. Because you know, this, this place has been, ha haven't, hasn't really been used in hundreds of years. So Can we see not... any tracks in the dust or anything like that? Oh yeah. Yeah, like like you guys had asked before. Yeah, there's, there's tracks everywhere. And you can tell that they're definitely goblin tracks. So... But but as for any other kind of tracks, no, you you don't see any any differences between you know <laughs> goblins or bugbears or, or or kobolds or anything like that. Looks like looks like pretty much everything is goblins. Hey Dave, do I, I see? I don't know. They kind of look like That's squirrel what? footprints to me. Do what now? I was going to ask if uh, I saw the spot that I'm pinging and all that uh well I'll, I'll tell you what seeing that we're we're off the grid i need to kind of adjust you guys just a little bit so need to adjust you guys back up to uh five foot my bad i should have done that already cast so. a little large spell uh, you guys uh are now enlarged <clears throat> okay so i guess you guys are waiting across the right around the corner uh, yeah. Leopold, feel Where's free to give me that. that stuff to to oh, I, I did. Uh, it 26. was uh, 26. Okay. Yes, sir. And yeah, I took one as well, 22. All right, so I'm just going to wait here. What you okay. can see, basically, <laughs> Leopold, is, is the chamber does go north. You can see that it is still illuminated. And you can see, you know, there there is, you know, these sconces on the wall. Now, as you turn the corner... Uh, you do see that directly to your north, there is a door, and okay. you can also see the the entire hallway is still, you know, uh, lit with these sconces. Okay, uh, I'm gonna sneak up to. Uh, but you see no activity like... though. You don't see any kind of no kind of movement. You don't hear anything. Not where you're at now. Okay. Okay, uh, stick up to there. So yeah, you can see as you're getting 
as you're getting to the the wider area of the chamber you can see that you know it does widen and as you get closer to the corner you know you can you can peek around and you can see that there are a, a a multitude of doors now you can see that there are some doors set to the north and also there is a single door to the west now on the east you notice that there is a a, a double set of doors and these doors uh, are made of a, of a metallic type of material. It is double and they are uh, basically a 10 foot door. Okay. And you can also see that there is a, there, there's also quite a few blood trails that's leading from the western door to the northern door. You know, same, same footprints as you guys have seen all throughout the complex already. So you can definitely tell that there's a, probably a goblin presence in this area also. Okay, I, I tell Free what I see, so he can tell the party, so everybody knows what's going on. Yeah, it's also it's also brightly lit, also brightly illuminated. I just want the party to know if you see me running past you, uh, I've ran into something very bad. <laughs> nice. Uh, so nothing else. Don't see any of that. Okay, uh, let's start checking these doors. Um, I'm going to check this one first for uh, traps or anything. This one in front of me. Okay. Door to the west, a wooden door. Basic type of wooden door that you've seen uh, in this place already several times. So. Well, not too many doors. There's been more tapestries up to this point. So. <laughs> Uh, I want to make sure of myself before I seem stupid. That'd be a perception check, or it would. It would. Yep. Okay. <laughs> wow! Right off the bat. Uh, uh, can can we get a five exp to everybody? <laughs> you you definitely most certainly can. Okay, sweet. Okay, nice so roll. yeah. Yeah, start that off right off the bat. Next one's going to be a wood. Just going to call it now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to check that door for traps, uh, see if I hear anything inside of it, get as much perception from that in that direction as I could get from that 30. You know, as, as your party members are super quiet behind you in the hall, you, you, can, you get a good sense that there's nothing behind this door to the west. However, you do, you can actually hear this faint... Uh, I, I want to say it's like, but you can actually tell that it's coming from the door to the north. You can actually hear sort of like a uh, like a babbling coming from behind that door. Okay. Uh, I go back to free. Tell him. So and you can, can tell, tell that it's goblin. Up. You can definitely hear that it's goblin. You can hear a uh, you can because you can understand goblin as well. So you can tell that these these goblins are uh, talking about uh, using hot pokers and you know, things of that nature. Okay, so somebody could be in danger in there. Yeah, you, you can also hear uh, what appears to be, well, what sounds like metal on uh, metal. On metal. Maybe uh, you, would, you, you would definitely have heard this before, so I'm not even going to make you do any kind of check for this, but it, w it would sound like maybe something, someone smithing, maybe a dwarf smithing on an anvil. Very lightly. But you can oh, definitely hear that. Nothing, you can't hear anything coming from the east, though. Or the west, just the north. Okay. So what do you want to do? Fluffy Man, you can scroll down below. There are all of the commands down below. Uh, I head back to the party and tell them what I heard. Uh, tell them if, at, I look at Peter and say, do you want to bust in that door? That one to the north? Uh, maybe somebody's in trouble out there. Mommy. Uh, yeah, man, are you sure you guys want to do that? Uh, well, if someone's getting hurt, we probably should stop it. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not the word, though. It's just the letter I would... Yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't uh, yeah, any, any, anyone... You couldn't hear anyone being hurt or anything like that. It was just... You know, get the hot polkas. Basically, is what a, oh, a, a like goblin get said. Yeah, get get the hot polkas and uh, prepare the Iron Maiden. 
Okay. okay. I was I was scared. I was hearing like somebody screaming or just something like that. Uh, yeah, I, I let the party know what I heard. Let them know I didn't hear anything to the left or to the right of us, to the uh, 